good morning friends today we are going to start third module and in the third module we are going to start purification of water in this purification of water it has a many treatment units such as screening and the plain sedimentation sedimentation aided with coagulation filtration disinfection aeration softening and miscellaneous treatments okay we will be studying one by one and in this chapter uh, in this module uh, three parts are added sedimentation and coagulation aided with sedimentation filtration ultra and micro filtration but in the syllabus it is not mentioned screening it doesn't mean that uh, without screening we can go to the sedimentation but in water supply this chapter is ignored why because thinking that the water will be uh, that intake structure only will be having that uh, screening in it but still we will co cover some uh, theory about uh, screening also in this module in the sedimentation first we will understand syllabus how it is framed for your uh, in the third module in the sedimentation we have a few topics like uh, we need to study theory of sedimentation why it is done and how it is done and types of sedimentation tank we are going to study design concepts and many problems are there in this chapter concepts of plate and tube settlers we are going to study next is a coagulation aided sedimentation in this topic we are going to study theory that is a principle how it works and types of coagulations coagulants and chemical feeding flash mixing clary flocculator and here in this chapter problems also there but it's not mentioned in your syllabus but still i will cover uh, those problems and in the third point we will be having a filtration in that one we have a theory that is a principles how it works types of filtration construction operation and cleaning of filtration next uh, operational problems problems means not is the numerical problems problems associated in operations means while operating the filtration then design of uh, slow sand filter and rapid sand filter without under drainage system okay and uh, we have another some theory part that is ultra and micro filtration basic principles membrane materials pore size flux normalizing permeability fouling mechanism overview of elements and systems control and pretreatment okay it's a somewhat a big module we have a four main headings as you see here the four main headings we have in that one we are going to study one by one i think hope uh, you have understood the syllabus involved in this third module why screening is required just think because here this chapter is a water treatment water purification right first uh, the water will be taken from source source that we have studied in second module that source may be well dam river whatever it is and the directly that water you are bringing it to the treatment plant in treatment plant before coming to the treatment plant what you do that will be having some uh, large materials like uh, stones or debris bushes leaves trees dead animals and etc those you need to remove them okay that is not called as a filtration you are not filtering them, just you are removing them therefore we want screens then what are the screens you just look at here you can see that the screens are a vertical rods vertical bars you know here the natural picture is there actual picture is there the vertical bars are there here and they might be inclined see here you can see this is inclined and they may be vertical also pure vertical also and here in this animation figure it is shown inclined that inclination may be come here that is a 30 degree or 60 degree you can maintain the water will come here 
and it will spread here and that uh, materials which are more than the screen size they will settle here and the clean water will come here this is the plan this is the elevation now in this screening what is exactly the definition of screening is screens are generally provided in front of pumps that you call it as a foot wall you know that uh, pump uh, this pipe will be there before that pipe i think you you might be seen this one you know in front of that one you will be having one a screen here that we actually call it as a foot wall you know the water will come here and those leaves and all that will uh, remain here only that you are using or in big projects we might be using this uh, uh, screens and all so as to exclude large size particles such as debris animals trees branches bushes leaves etc it are generally they are called as trash tracks there are two types the first one is a coarse screens and fine screens and a coarse screens means what a coarser material will be removed in fine screens finer material will be removed coarse screens will be having uh, made up of uh, vertical bars as i shown and the fine screens are made up of wire mesh uh, usually 6 mm square opening will be there but in coarse there won't be any square opening there is a vertical opening will be there and the velocity of flow not more than 0.8 meter per second means it should be some of this velocity should be maintained when water is approaching to the screen then the material deposited on the screen are removed either manually or mechanically how mechanically the screens are rotated Com continuously the screens are rotated so that the material deposited on the screen can be removed okay these are Uh, diagrams which are natural means uh, practically available diagrams for exam point of view we can draw this diagram now we are moving into very important topic that is a sedimentation tank okay we need to understand clearly this concept very important unit sedimentation tank means what say for example water whatever we are treating in that water many debris bushes trees animals that we have removed in screening but still small small particles will be there those particles are escapes from the screen okay means they are not retained in the screen because screen sizes are more and we have seen that the screen size of fine screen sizes are 6 mm in square no then lesser than the 6 mm whatever the particles are there those particles cannot be removed from the screening therefore those particles we are going to concentrate here in sedimentation tank okay means the particles size may be lesser than 6 mm even up to 0.1 mm also even less than 0.1 mm also okay these particles we are concentrating and we are going to remove in this screening uh, sorry in this sedimentation tank okay then what is sedimentation tank <clears throat> sedimentation tank is uh, in which the flow of water is retarded in order to settle the particles whose specific gravity is more than that of water very important here water specific gravity is what water specific gravity gw is 1 and the particles which are having the specific gravity more than 1 for example 1.5 or your cement 3.14 or soil 2.6 to 2.8 right and whatever the material 7.85 which is this one this is of steel these particles which are having specific gravity more than 1 when you put them inside the water they settle easily right and the particles which are lesser than 1 for example your wood or some fats oils 
they will be having less than one specific gravity therefore they will be floating here and that floating matter we can remove it by some other method but usually in water treatment plant floating materials are only were leaves trees and bushes branches these only you don't get any oils and fats here because this is not waste water treatment here it is a water treatment only therefore our concentration is to remove the particles which are less than having a specific gravity less than uh, sorry greater than 1 okay no? now that is your uh, definition that is this is the tank in which flow of water is retarded retarded means what slowed down the flow of water is slowed down some arrangement we have we will made here make here and in order to settle the particles whose specific gravity is more than that of water now here we will come one more we will have one more term here that is a detention time or detention period let us consider this is a tank which tank it is sedimentation tank and water is till this level water is there and this slope is made very mild the slope is made very very mild such that the water whatever that comes here it is slowed down its velocity is reduced retarded then the particles whatever the water particles whatever that is here it is called as inlet and that comes here slowly 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 and it exists you know then the this one particular particle if i am following that particle or if i am following that uh, particular water then how much time it takes from here to here how much time trek uh, how much time it takes to travel from here to here that tra travel time is called as detention time this is a theoretical average time see practically i cannot sit here and i cannot watch the uh, particles how much time it is taking from here to here there might be some shortcuts or it may come and settle here and after that later it may come here therefore we cannot get it therefore they are saying that it is a theoretical average time for which the water is retained in the tank understood i'll show you some uh, figures there you can understand what is uh, exactly the meaning of sedimentation tank we can look at here the water is coming here inlet okay see the slope is made in this way but here also will be there some slope the water comes here and it flows like this and outlet don't uh, get confusion that why this slope is made like this i will explain you later the water comes here slowly it comes here and travels here and it goes this particles whatever that is there that will go on settling here and it will be collected here this is called as a uh, washout valve okay this is one figure and uh, here you can see uh, see here the water is coming here from the grid chamber grid chamber means it is your screening actually this is uh, taken uh, from that uh, waste water sedimentation no problem the water is coming here and slowly it is moving from here to here and the slope is made here then the water when it is moving from here to here the particles will come and settle and those particles are removed and here one small tank will be made and it is deposited here that will be removed and the floating matters they are called as scum uh, scum skimmer and they will be removed out okay this is a rectangular in the top view if you see rectangular sedimentation tank and for diagram uh, this what exam purpose you can draw this diagram you can see here uh, this is a collector or travel here some chain arrangement will be there so that the material deposited here can be brought to this tank okay <clears throat> and there are uh, two types actually sedimentation tank the one is a uh, in the plan rectangular one and in the plan circular one this represents a circular sedimentation tank just imagine how the circular can be made for example if you have uh, that uh, rect uh, rectangular one that is very easy to understand but in the circular way the inlet is made here 
the water will come from here and it will come out of this in upward direction and that will be moving from one point to other point and it goes out then here the sedimented uh, that particles which are more than having more than specific gravity water they will come and settle here that is called as sludge and that sludge is removed for exam point of view you can draw this diagram and this one I will explain later once again you can see here so that we can go to the next topic that is what are the factors which are opposing our sedimentation let us consider this is a tank and the water is coming here and slowly this water comes out of this right now here the water particles whatever that is there here it will come and settle it has to settle like this okay but exactly the water vertically it won't settle because there is a flow velocity is also there therefore the water will take some inclination and it may come here and settle okay this one you know how to remove this one because you have made the slope in reverse way you have made it like this and you have made here water tank that what sedimentation sludge tank and the particle whatever comes here by the belt conveyor it is removed from here and it is dumped in the sedimentation or sludge tank understood here the very important parameters are the water this particle should settle when it is traveling from this end to this end within this time means within your detention time the particle has to settle the first property is its specific gravity your specific gravity should be greater than one this is one property it must be there and the second property is you should allow that you should reduce your velocity such a way that in that detention time it should settle there are some parameters we will see it later and it that settlement of the particle can be affected by viscosity of water also if more viscous water is there then resistance will be more therefore it won't settle if the wa water is very thin i mean viscosity is very less then it can settle very easily therefore viscosity of water also depends here A temperature effect we will be considering viscosity of course comes into the equation but exact temperature variations and all we will be not studying and this temperature i can say the average temperature i can put and study for some sophisticated water purification okay now here you can see the factors which opposes the settlement are the velocity of flow viscosity of water and size shape see a size matters here if the density is more then the density is multiplied to its volume volume means what size then it will get a weight more weight then it will settle easily and the shape is if the particle is a rounded one then or if it is a rounded shape then it will settle easily if the particle is flatter then it won't settle easily and the specific gravity I, you already know that to understand this sedimentation concept we should know how exactly the particle settles means i should know what is the settling velocity of the particle this is very 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 important parameter the settling velocity means the particle to particle difference say for example smaller particle may take very very slowly it may come and settle and the larger particle may come very fast and settle therefore each and every particle will be having their own settling velocity therefore settling velocity we should understand then what is settling velocity how to calculate the settling velocity for our different type of particles that we will study by stokes law i think this stokes law you have studied in geotechnical engineering also where it comes sedimentation analysis this is not that sedimentation this sedimentation analysis there the particle size 
less than 75 micron less than 75 micron those particles cannot be sieved therefore there we are using classification by sedimentation by hydrometer and pipette method there we have used the stokes law the same thing we are going to study here that i will explain how the equation is derived and what are the parameters we need to consider in sedimentation tank as i already told that the specific gravity of particles if that is more than the water then they definitely settle in the water each and every particles having their own settling velocity even though if the specific gravity is same but that also depends on sizes particle come in contact with the water you can see here when it settles why it settles because its self weight when it is settling down archimedes says that there will be some oppositions offered by that offered to that material that force is called as wb that is buoyancy force then how much buoyancy force will be there the volume whatever that is there if that much of volume multiplied by gamma w there is a density of the water then you will get some force that force will be the opposition force due to buoyancy okay and the drag force will also be there that is also opposing your settling velocity the drag force which is invented by newton it has a direct equation that is drag force equal to cd a gamma w vs square by 2 let us consider a sphere of radius r and a specific gravity is more than that of the water okay is dropped into the water tank that sphere is dropped into the water tank when it starts settling down it experiences opposition by drag force and buoyancy force after some time particle attains a constant velocity initially these forces may be varying in magnitude but after some times the particle attains constant velocity that velocity is called as settling velocity which is constant when the velocity is constant we can apply equilibrium condition to that one that equilibrium in y direction i can apply that says sorry wd plus wb minus ws equal to 0 okay here as i already told according to newton's law that wd drag force equal to cda gamma w v square by 2 and ws self weight of the material that is the particle that is volume into unit weight as we assumed this is a spherical in shape therefore the volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube and the density we are assuming gamma s and wb is a buoyancy force and that buoyancy force will be volume into unit weight of water that is sphere volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube into gamma w these three we are going to substitute into the main equation and we will get this expression go through that now these two expressions are sent this side then we will get cda gamma w square by 2 4 by 3 pi r cube is taken common gamma s minus gamma w this a means pi r square and vs we will retain here and we'll send everything to right side then you can substitute this r as d by 2 then we will have expression this one then we also know gamma w is equal to g into gamma rho w then we will get this expression this is the ultimate expression vs equal to root 4 by 3 g capital g minus 1 into d by cd what is cd cd is drag coefficient and here the parameters we need to substitute in the equation in this equation with si units only that is velocity in meter per second g in meter per second square capital g it don't have any unit d in meter this cd depends on flow regime 
means how the flow is there depending on that this cd alters cd depends on flow type we have three type of flows in fluid that is a laminar flow turbulent flow and transitional flow out of that the laminar flow it is called when reynolds number is less than 1 for this settling velocity condition then cd will be equal to 24 by re and where d is less than 0.1 mm if the flow is turbulent then we will identify it by calculating reynolds number that is reynolds number if it is more than 10 raised to 4 then cd value is 0.4 where the diameter should be more than 1 mm if the reynolds number falls in between 1 and 10 raised to 4 then that is called as transitional flow in that case cd will be 24 by re plus 3 by root re plus 0.34 here the particle size will be 0.1 to 1 mm where reynolds number we already know this expression in fluid mechanics that is vd by nu where nu is kinetic viscosity and nu equal to mu divided by rho then mu is dynamic viscosity here also we have a si units only we need to substitute all in si units only once again the diameter in meter velocity in meter per second nu kinetic viscosity is meter square per second rho kg per meter cube and dynamic viscosity newton second per meter square most of the sedimentation tank as the definition itself says that the velocity should be retarded it should be slowed down then therefore the most of the sedimentation tank works under laminar flow therefore if we substitute cd value that is 24 by re we will get this expression here vs vs cancels and we will get vs equal to g by 18 g minus 1 d square by nu as i said that the viscosity effects is sometimes ignored but still if you want to consider the mean temperature and its effect on the settling velocity then we have a three modified equations that is vs equal to 418 g minus 1 d square 3t plus 70 by 100 it works when d is less than 0.1 mm and vs equal to 418 g minus 1 into d 3t plus 70 by 100 it works when d is in between 0.191 mm and vs equal to 1.8 under the root g into g minus 1 into d this works when d is greater than 1 mm very important thing here is the units substitution in these empirical formulas these empirical formulas are not uh, they will not accept si units here we need to substitute vs in mm per second and d in mm and the rest other the the numericals that 418 1.1 1.8 they will take care of things and g however we don't have a unit for that and t it will be in degree centigrade and by using vs we are going ahead and we are going to calculate or design sedimentation tank thank you today this much is enough